in this exercise, we are going to try to morph all these curves in between two grids. But I only have one at this moment. So let me show you under paneling tools a great component under grid utility. It is called coordinates. It's like exploding, decomposing a point. This is asking for the original surface. And after we get that, notice that we have the direction for the x, y, and z vector. So we are going to transform, move, and we are going to move what? We're going to move this grid in which direction? Vectors, vector, amplitude. The amplitude is because we already know the direction, the z. So this is the vector. How much? Well, 1.0 dot dot 5.0. We will see later how much we need to move it in that direction. So there we go. You can see that you have now the new grid. Once we have that, once we have that, we go back to paneling tools, panel 3D, and there you find it, Morph 3D. And this one is really easy to use. First, it's asking for the first grid. We have it. Let me move this one down here. The second grid and the pattern of objects. So I am going to params, drag and drop curve, right click, multiple curves, and in order, one, two, and three. Enter. And we connect that to the pattern. There you see it. Beautiful, beautiful. Let us let us analyze the output of this component. Hmm. One, two, three branches, and each branch has sixty-four curves. Hmm. One, two, three. This is a great opportunity. And we saw this component in my class on computational design. So don't complain. Sets, three. There you see it. There you see it. Where is it? Where is it? Flip matrix. So I'm going to flip the matrix. And let me copy this one over here. Let's make this one a little bit more uh, skinny and connect this one over here. So now we have 64 branches and each branch has what? One, two, three curves. So this is perfect for surface, loft, and before you loft, before you loft, set, simplify, and connect. And there you have it. Isn't that beautiful? Let us go to display, costume preview, and apply a beautiful color to it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a beautiful green. 
something like this. So there you go. Now you have the morph in between all of them. But wait, 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 don't go too fast. How about if we go to paneling tools, grid attractors, and random? Oh yes, we can select the original grid, click, click, let us make a numeric slider 1.00, Set it to zero and change, change this grid over here. And let's see, let's see what happens if we start moving this one around. Oh, look at that. Look how they dance. Isn't that beautiful? So there you go. There you go. Random attraction with the Morph 3D. Those two are dynamite.